Hi everybody, this is Connie, Sans Makeup. I am going to do a get ready with me this morning. I'm gonna, I decided I'm gonna do like every other week maybe. Um, let's just see how I feel. Um, not feeling the greatest today, but I am going to do my best. I, so I just showered. I'm just going to put on my uh, lotion. I should have done that first, I guess, but um, anyway. Um, I am pre-recording today, just like I do every single weekend. Uh, I've got five videos, I believe. I got a bunch of, or some beauty boxes and, and a couple little hauls. Um, nothing huge this week. Nothing real big for reviews, but I'm going to do a video anyway. No matter how much I have, I decided I'm going to do a video every Friday for, for review mail. So, anyway, let that dry for a second. How's everybody doing? I hope great. Um, I got moved to my new, um, if any of you remember, I kind of mentioned it. I think that I was transferring to our warehouse, um, which is so much better. I mean, I was working in the plant before. I had I had an office that I had to share with somebody. He worked nights, I worked days. And it was kind of a pain because the, the guys on nights didn't have a whole lot of respect for people's things. And they would come in and they would steal my pens. They would um, steal my earplugs. They would, you know, steal, just take all that kind of stuff. I don't suppose they considered it stealing if it was in the office for them to take. You know what I mean. Um... Real classy guys. Anyway, there was always a smell, some days worse, in the plant. Um, some days not so bad. You know, in my office it wasn't so bad. I used a, a wax melt burner in my office all the time, so it wasn't so bad. Um, I had to wear a hairnet 10 hours a day. I had to wear a hard hat if I was out in into the plant, which I had to go out several times a day. I had to wear steel-toed boots. Um, no sleeveless. No um, pants had to be down, to, you know, past your ankles. Uh, what else? No jewelry whatsoever. Um, eyeglasses, that was it. You could, if you had a wedding ring that was just a plain gold band you could wear that um, anyway they decided that and plus I had a boss that wasn't a real nice person um, he was tough to work for let's put it that way okay so after oh a few months ago we we sold the plant and a new company took it over and they're starting to make some changes. So they decided that they wanted, I'm a purchasing clerk, that's what I do. I order all the meat for the plant. I order all of the cans and the lids. Um, I'm going to be ordering all of the labels that go on the, the pet food, stuff like that. And there's another purchasing lady that does all of the fresh veggies and she does the labels now, she does a lot. And so they wanted us together. She got moved out to the plant because we're under a new boss. And he is awesome so far. He is very, very, um, I'm going to put on my face primer while I'm talking now since my stuff is dried. Um, he's very easygoing. He's just a nice guy. He takes his time teaching you things and, um, making sure you know what to do and um, the other guy just expected you to you know him to say it one time and you better know it so uh, so far so good and I have my own office one that I lock nightly my own computer, which I absolutely love. That way I can get on Facebook during the day, during my downtime. Which I sneak on there quite a bit, actually. Um, there's no smell. I have carpet in my office, which is awesome. 
uh, I still use my burner, you know, just to have a nice smell in there. Uh, we do have a plant, uh, the warehouse part that has um, dry food out there or dry ingredients. It has all this stuff. So if we go out there, we have to wear eye shields. So um, I have a, a pair that I that'll just fit right over my glasses. So it's not so bad. Um, so far, we don't have to wear steel-toed boots. Um, he said to bring them just in case we need them. So I just keep them in my car. Uh, stuff like that. I can keep my same hours, my 6 to 4, which I absolutely love those hours. Because if I have something I need to do, uh, I still have time to do it before businesses close. So anyway, um, I am really enjoying it so far. I'm going to use my Rimmel um, Lasting Finish com with Comfort Serum uh, Skin Perfecting Full Coverage Foundation in Light Ivory. I'll shake it up good here. Get my beauty blender out here. I should try actually try to do it with a uh, brush, but I think I'm going to do it with my beauty blender this time. Put a little bit of this on my hand. Which is, that's why I got you so close here, is because um, I figured maybe you could see pretty good right here. Okay, let's get this light on so I can see better here. Get up a little closer here so I can see. I'm not, I'm getting more blind all the time. Off of the oh dripped right off my nose I used to just rub this on and somebody told me to bounce my beauty blender so that's what I'm doing. It's a little bit harder to do this way. Got like a little bite or something right there. Okay, usually finish a little bit of this off with my fingers just to even it out and get all the mascara from yesterday off my eyes when I showered. Okay, get a cloth here. I am using the, right now I'm using the Pond's um, Evening Snooze 
snooze, <laughs> soothe wet towelettes. Um, and I really like them. Um, I don't think they're just for evening. I really like them. All right. Put my lid and stuff back on here. Put some concealer on. And I am using, today I'm going to use my uh, Fit Me in 10 Light. And that even looks a little dark. Just going to use the same. Beauty Blender as I was before. Is it better if you um blend, if you get your beauty blender damp? I've heard a lot of people say damp beauty blender. So it would it be better for me if I got it damp before I put my foundation on? And thank you to those of you, um, the few of you, that have, when I ask questions, you go ahead and answer them for me. That helps me a lot. I appreciate it. Not a whole lot of you do that, but um, I'd love more interaction, you know. There we go. Okay, so now I'll do my brows. I'm Today I'm going to use my favorite as Ultra Brow Tint in Light. Which I could maybe go with the medium. Um, we'll see. Let's let me find my, first of all. Um, I always lose him. I should put him somewhere different. So I don't lose them all the time. He's a little bit shorter than everybody else. And I need to wash my brushes so bad. I said that last week and I didn't get them washed. But I need to really badly. Ooh, that one looked like it was a little rough around the edges there. I need, I really need to go in and get a um, wet eyebrow waxing. I haven't done that for years, but I'm I'm really thinking I need to. I'm not real good at this guy, so. And I don't take the longest of times to do it. I want to get it done. And like I told you, you know, many times I'm missing part of my eyebrow on this side, so. See, I can never get them even. They never look the same ever. But you know what? That'll do. Put my brush away here. All right, let's put a little bit of eye shadow. Um, this is the Too Faced Shadow Insurance Anti Crease Eyeshadow Primer on. I really like this stuff. It's just a little sample size that I got, but I really like it a lot. I 
Now, I was watching a video this morning. I'm not going to name names because, um, just because, um, where she was doing a get ready with me and she used the NYX white shadow pencil on her lash or on her eyelid to really bring the colors out. I'm going to try that today. I've never done that before. So, and it is the NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil. And I've never used this before. I can tell because it doesn't want to move. I don't even know if mine moves up. Tell you the truth, because it doesn't want to. Okay, let's do this. She said it just really pop, makes those colors pop. Well, I have such hooded eyes anyway that I don't think that this is going to do me a lot of good, but we're going to see. Looks pretty funny. Especially on that other eye, because that's the one that um, I went through a windshield and got sliced and diced. Okay, <laughs> there I go, isn't that cute? Okay, today I'm going to do something different. I am going to use pinks and plums, and I know I'm wearing red, but um, kind of the pink colors kind of bring that out, and I am going, I am using the, um, I, can't, I can't see it, Junet Paris palette. This here just usually slides right in there, and then this slides closed like this. I don't want to slide it shut because it's a little hard to get open. <laughs> All right, but I'm going to use that bottom one, the gold color, as usual. So, okay, first thing I want to do, I think, is I'm looking for kind of matte. Um, but I want to use this really light, pale, pinky color, this one right there on my eyelid and up just a little bit this brush is a, a Kate McNabb brush um, let's see did I get that in a Beauty box? Can't remember actually. Ooh, look at the powder fly. So this is actually this was a pretty cheap palette. So <laughs> okay. So next, in for my transition color, I'm going to use this matte color right here. So pretty, so pretty. I'm not very good at this, so. I just, I, I've never been very good at applying this kind of stuff. Just going to blend. Not even taking it all the way over. Just going to stay mostly on the half. Such a pretty color. I need to put my. See, this eye is so hard to work with. going to do much more to my eyes right than right there. Kind of clean my brush off here. And I'm going to just
I'm not very professional with this, guys. I wish I didn't have such old eyes when I started playing with makeup. All right, so let's go with... Um, I'm going to use this bottom kind of whitish color for my... Oh, this is so powdery. this little itty bitty brush. Ooh, that's a little dark. There we go. As you all know, I kind of like that. But this isn't very, um, creamy looking or the look that I usually like. <sighs> and let's put just a touch of this purple under my eye. You know, I'm no pro. I was just playing with color today, which I usually am a very neutral girl. So, I'm not real thrilled with it, but... Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this e.l.f. It's the duo. It's the eyeliner and shadow stick. Shadow stick is on this side. Liner is on this side. And it's kind of a purpley um, color. So what I'm going to do is do my bottom lashes. Does not come out very well. Hoping you guys are seeing this. I need to be more conscious of what you can see and what you can't because it this kind of defeats the purpose if you're not seeing what I'm doing. Yeah, this isn't a great one, but it, it worked. Okay, mascara. I am using my Grandissimo. Uh, Lashes Incredible Volume Mascara by Milani. I really like this stuff. Um, it's got a huge wand on it. You know what? And every single time I do this, I forget to curl my lashes first.
So anyway, very happy with my job right now. You know, um, I was very, let me say, um, I didn't think this job would last when I first applied for it because I'd heard very, very conflicting stories about this place because um, some of their practices, not with making the dog food, not with anything like that, because they are very clean and trustworthy and stuff on that kind of stuff. It's their hiring practices. Um, well, I'm glad they hired me because at my age, it's a little hard to find a job. As you guys know, I had, I, the last few years, I've been having a really tough time. So anyway, um, I was going to wear this blush, but I'm not going to. Um, they hire through a um, temp agency is where I got my job. But it is, they hire a lot of guys that are in treatment. Um, so it's very short-lived. You know, once they get out of treatment, they're gone. Um, they hire guys on work release, stuff like that. So, I mean, the, the guys that have been there, say, for longer than 90 days, are pretty good to go. I mean, they, they want their jobs. If they stay after treatment, they pretty much want their jobs. Um, but I was a little concerned about that, actually, because I'd heard a few stories, which... If I can figure out how to open this dang thing, which most of them weren't true. So, you know, it's and and the place smelled. Um, I worked across the road for a while, and during rendering days, oh my god, it smelled so bad. It never smelled that bad in the plant, by the way, but it smelled pretty bad some days. So, anyway, I don't have that to worry about anymore. Okay, I am using my Milani blush in tea rose so pretty so so pretty oh that's a pretty color is it too dark Okay, I'm going to use my NYX Illuminator in Ritualistic, which is kind of a, oh, beautiful, beautiful color. I need to get that out of the shadow there. Such a beautiful color. Put that back in there. I need my powder brush. Um, let me see here. Let's use this brush. And what I'm going to do is put this on the top and then go down like that. That's what um, Wayne Goss says is the halo effect. And I love Wayne Goss. I absolutely adore him. Um, if any of you guys don't watch him, watch him. Wayne Goss. He's got several channels. And I think I've sub subscribed to all of them. Um, he is a makeup artist. He, has, he just came out with his own line of makeup brushes, which I can't afford, but... Um, he is so awesome. I love the way he, he does this wink when I can't wink very well, but, <laughs> but then he does that wink, um, at the end of every video. He's just cute. I mean, he's just a neat guy. I just really like him. Okay. So to set everything, I am going to use my Ready, Set, Gorgeous, um, Fresh Complexion Powder in... Fair. And I'm using my Real Techniques face brush that I always use for um, this, this. See, this is a powder foundation, but I still use it for setting my makeup. All right. Did I get that blush on a little bit too dark? I don't know. 
Okay, so then I'm going to use today, which I only ever tried this, uh, swatched this. I've never used it yet. And it's melted. And I believe this is peony. It's two-faced. Melted peony. All right. So let's try this stuff. Ooh. Use one of these. I used a little bit too much, I think. <laughs> sorry guys I want to get this just right okay there is my makeup for the day right, let's take you back a little bit well let's bring you in did you see my eyes that's my bad eye there Okay, let's take you back. Normally. There we go. And I am not having a very good hair day today. I washed it and kind of fixed it, but or didn't do much to fix it. I put gel on it. <laughs> Cold. Anyway, that is my Get Ready With Me video, and thank you so much for watching. I am not um, putting my ingredients down below because I told you everything I was using. Um, if you like this kind of thing, let me know by giving me a thumbs up. Next week, I will probably just go ahead and do my makeup and do like normal, and then the following week, perhaps, I will do this. Like I said, it depends on how I'm feeling and, and what your thoughts are on the process. Um, this was... 34 minutes long so that's really long and I don't think that you probably want to watch me do this for that long so I will talk to you very soon love you guys bye bye